Hello everyone. Welcome to Andrew Bruce Art Watercolors. Today I just got in the mail another ink stick. I bought this one off of eBay. So I'm going to uh, grind this and then just experiment on different papers with it. I'm also experimenting with the uh, camera zooming in. So anyway, so this one I picked up off of eBay. I genuinely have no idea what it says on it. I'll have to post on the Chinese calligraphy page, the painting page, and see what people say. But um, the advertisement on eBay was the, I can't pronounce the name of the, the facility that makes this one, the sink, but it seems to be the very common one, and I have the other inks by this brand. Um, but this one was labeled as uh, a pine soot one, but with also being made with in indigo in it that's supposed to um, kind of make it a little bit darker. So it was $8 on eBay, and I figured I'd give it a try and uh, see what would happen with it. So without further ado, we'll get into the grinding. And due to the cut nature, it seems like this is our bottom right here. I've been looking online for different types of ink sticks. There were some articles that I came across that had uh, a more bluish, coolish gray. Others had a more brownish, warmish gray. It seemed like the pine soot was the cooler, the more blue side, while the oil soot was the, um, the, the browner, warmer side. So this one being pine soot, I'm anticipating it to be kind of cooler gray. And then if the indigo is truly added in during the making of this, um, I'm anticipating it to be darker as per the description. For an $8 price tag, I'm not too, too worried. Uh, that seems to be a decent starting point price-wise for the Ink Sticks. I've seen them go up to 30, 40 or more in the price. Um, I don't plan on ever purchasing an ink, ink stick like that. Unless say somebody out there wants to send me one as a, a gift or whatever to try out. I just can't um, justify currently spending that much money on um, an ink stick. Um, at the more expensive levels, from what I understand, there may be um, some different uh, floral ingredients, herbs made with it. Um, it's probably a finer, more consistent ink that would prevent like a scratching of the ink stone. Um, it probably offers more tonal variety, but like I said, I just can't um, justify spending that much on um, one art thing right now. My nose is a little stuffed today, but I am catching some floral notes off of this. I thought it was the the pine soot composition, but there is an ingredient that I have seen people ask about that. I need to look into it. I think it's a Chinese medicinal. Um, Borneal? Born, born all. I don't have it in front of me. I haven't really researched it, but I see a lot of people often say, uh, does this have... The, the B word in it and um, in comments. So I think that's a um, smelling aspect. So I'll grind for a few more minutes. Um, I know that these beginning of these videos are a little tedious. Um, I don't know if I'll wind up ever filming 
the grinding process at the beginning of paintings in the future. Uh, let me know what you think down, down below. Um, I think if you're hearing that statement at this point, it means that you're watching the grinding process and you might actually enjoy it. And just kind of the, um, the talking that takes place. But I know people will skip around and I mean, I'm guilty of it too. And there's nothing wrong with jumping ahead in a video to seeing what it actually looks like. Um, that being said, I think we're getting close. I have, um, the sink stone is pretty cool. I think it's fairly common to have a dip on one end. I think they call it a, the well. That's where the excess water in the ink will pool. And I think you want to let your dark start to seep into that region. But I'll grab a few different pieces of paper to play around on. We'll try out that um, kind of opaque paper, watercolor paper, and then uh, rice paper. I could try out um, Bristol paper as well. I was surprised at how um, how much uh, variation the Bristol paper had gotten when I tested it out. And I'm wondering if there's optical brighteners in it, and it being so bright lets those uh, different tones show through. The ink making process isn't bad at all. Um, Talking to, who was it? I think it was uh, Mr. Guy down in Australia. I think he had just recently purchased a bottle of ink, and we were talking about it. Somebody was, somebody did. And as of right now, I think bottled ink is the way to go, just due to um, allowing you to do more practice. Um, You'd probably want to use ink stone and creation of your own ink. Not for the novelty, but for the um, the better tonal variety. And I'm sure there's scenarios where people will use a mixture of both in one painting. That's another thing that I've been meaning to ask, explore. If uh, one stone, one ink stick, sorry, is more prone to getting a nice dark, while another one is more prone to getting a subtle um, tonal variety, subtle grays, would the two be used in one painting? So we probably have enough. Let me pause the camera while I get my papers out. All right, so I have the Bristol paper that I used last time. This one, let's see. Let's see how much shows up on the screen, okay. So this was the pine soot um, last time. This was the uh, oil soot, which was a little bit browner, a little bit warmer. And then I believe these guys right here was the Yasutomo uh, bottled Chinese ink. So I might be able to fit in on the same side so we can kind of get a good comparison. Fortunately, I don't have any of these labeled, but that, that should be the layout of where everything is. And get one last good final grind. It does, um, it is a very uh, tactically pleasing process. And I can understand why it's viewed as a meditative technique. Let's see. 
I'll use the um, this simple brush right here. I'm going to pull ink right off the stone and then wipe the stone, or wipe the stick. That's the main thing. You don't want to keep this wet. I think that's supposed to help prevent um, mold growth. Okay. So this, let's see where we are on the camera. Perfect. All right. That is pretty dark. Let's get a little bit of water on the brush. It almost seems more granulating. And I was going to mention that. I'm going to hold this close and look at the angles. You see this little textured effect? I wonder if that's um, what that says about the ink. Okay, so that's Bristol paper. Let's see how light we can get. I'm going to draw a little arrows here so we know that this is our one that we looked at. I'm going to let this one dry on the side. We'll see how it is on watercolor paper. So this is 100% cotton. Well, it does seem to go on a lot darker than these other guys. I do know last time I didn't make enough water with my ink sticks. Holy cow, that's dark. Wow. I'm like gonna rinse this brush off just so we can start getting that. Do some more rinsing. Is that showing? Oh, I did it below the screen, I apologize. Look at how dark that is. That's insane. This was the um, the ink from the bottle. How dark that was. I mean, it might dry a little bit lighter, but that's really comparable to that intense black dark ink. This was the pine soot on the blue side. This was the oil soot. Um, wow. I am really amazed at how dark that is. Here is, I don't have a sample of the other one from last time. I think I had tossed it or put it somewhere. But let's make sure we're right in the middle. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, this is just, I can, if what they're saying is true, of that this having indigo in it to make it darker, it definitely is darker. Getting that lighter tone is going to be difficult for me then. It's like, I almost have to use just dirty wash water. But I am quite amazed and quite pleased that there's definitely is a difference between these ink sticks. Here's a tear of rice paper. Some variety on the brush. Okay, so I'm very, very, very pleased with um, what's taking place here in that variety. On that note, I'm going to. Well, yeah, I'll show you one last time up close. So here is the Bristol paper. This is the new ink that we're trying today. This is the pine soot, the bluish. The difference in dark values. I believe that's the warmer one. Anyway, all right, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna jump right into uh, doing a painting with this. So 
I'm going to stop the video now and I'll start a new video. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.